the curve with a certain equation passes through the point A. Determine the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to the tangent at A. Now, for some of us, when we read this, we're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, what does this even mean? I know, right? It's, it's super weird. So let me try to draw a picture for us and, and try to make it a bit easier to understand. So if we had a normal graph, okay, let's draw a normal graph. And I'm not going to draw an accurate graph. I'm just going to make a random graph. Let's draw a random graph like that. And let's say this point over here is the point A. Let's say that's point A. Or no, that wouldn't make sense because they said X is two. So let's say A is over here. So we put two and B. Right, now they said, determine the equation of the line which is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so let's go draw a tangent first. So a tangent would look something like this. Um, a tangent is a line that touches at that point in one place. So it would be something like that. Okay, so that's the tangent, right? Let's label that as tangent. Okay, then they said they want the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the tangent. Oh, my word. So it must be perpendicular to the tangent. So then I'm going to go like that. Crazy, hey, guys. And so then we know that these are at 90 degrees. All right. So, so now we need to know our goal for this question, guys, is to find the equation of this green one. So this green one is y equals to mx plus c. So that's crazy. Four marks. I would imagine it could have been worth a little bit more because we've got to do quite a couple of quite a few things now. So let's make some few a few notes about what we should remember about uh, tangents, perpendicular lines. Um, what does a tangent and a graph have in common? So a few important things I would want you guys to remember is the following. Number one, the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient of the graph. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient of the graph. Now, which one is the graph? I'm talking about this one. That one is the graph, right? Your teacher would have told you this before, that the gradient of a tangent is the same as the gradient of a graph at this point, at that point over there. Number two, we should understand that the gradient of, a, of the tangent, um, oh no, sorry. If two lines are perpendicular, then you guys can remember what that means. If two lines are perpendicular, then it means that uh, their gradients multiply together should always give you negative one. These are the two important things that we need to know if we want to be able to solve this question. First derivative means gradient of the graph. So these two things are the same. Okay. So the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient of the graph. And to find the gradient of, oh, that's probably something I should have added. Um, the gradient of the graph, we always find that using the first derivative. Remember, guys, that the first derivative stands for the gradient. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So what we're going to go do, I think what we can do first is we can go find the gradient of the graph. Let's go find the gradient of the graph. And how do we do that? Well, that's where calculus helps us. So we can use the first derivative. So let's first go write this down. Now, before we can take the first derivative, we first need to rearrange this equation and make it a little bit more user-friendly. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to bring that X to the top. So it's going to look like this. There we go. Now we can take the first derivative. Now, guys, they might penalize you in the test if you forget the following thing that I'm about to do, but they probably won't. Maybe they'll minus one mark. So because they're using a Y over here, when you take the first derivative, please don't do this. Don't do this with a line like that. That's not what you want to do. Um, you can only put a line like that if they use f of x, if they use f of x. But if they use a y, if they use a y like this, then you have to use the correct notation. But hey, if you're sitting in a test and you can't remember, just do whatever. They won't, they, they'll probably minus one mark, uh, honestly. Okay. So you can just go dy over dx. Now we're taking the first derivative. So that's going to be equal to one. And then this minus one is going to multiply to the front. So that will become minus 12 x to the power of minus two. See, I'm just taking the first derivative. Now, we know that um, this first derivative, this thing over here stands for the gradient. So, so we can find the gradient of the graph by just plugging in the x value of that point. Remember the x value of that point is a two. So I can go and plug in a two now. All right, dx. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna plug in the x value of that point because I wanna know what is the gradient of that point. And so it's gonna be one minus 12. And then I'm gonna plug in a two over here to the power of minus two. And then you can just go ahead and type it in on your calculator and let's see what that gives us. And so that's gonna give us negative two. So what that now means is that um, the gradient of the graph is equal to negative two, right? The gradient of the graph is equal to negative two. So let's say that here, therefore, the gradient of the graph is equal to negative two. So then what we can see is that the gradient of the graph is always the same as the gradient of the tangent. So now we have the tangent. So the gradient of the tangent is also negative two. So that's quite nice. Now, because we know the gradient of the tangent, we will now be able to get the gradient of the perpendicular line because, um, because um, if there's now, because we know that the, 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 if two lines are perpendicular, when you multiply their gradients, you will get negative one. Okay, so let's quickly have a look here. All right, so the gradient of the, um, so now what we're going to work out is the gradient of the perpendicular line. Okay, now the way that we do that is we know that the gradient of the tangent multiplied by the gradient of the perpendicular line should be equal to negative one. That is just a mathematical concept that we've learned since grade 10, actually, even grade nine. Now, um, so what we can do is we can say minus two multiplied by the gradient of the perpendicular line equals to negative one. What you would find is that the perpendicular gradient should be a half. So then what we can do is we can say y equals to mx plus c, and we can then say y equals to a half x plus c. Right, so now guys, to find the value of c, we need to find a point on the perpendicular line. Now that point is gonna be this point over here, but the problem is that we don't have the y value. But that's not a problem because we can just plug the x value. We can just plug the x value um, into the original equation, which we have over here. So we can just plug in the, y, the x value of 2. And if you had to go work that out, you're going to find out that the y value is going to be equal to 8. So this y value over here is 8. All right. And so now we have the y value is eight. And so now we can substitute the point two and eight into the equation, this equation over here. And we can go eight equals to a half times two plus C. 
and we should find out that C is equal to seven. And so the final answer would be Y equals to a half X plus seven.